Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Bluetooth connection with MIT App Inventor. Okay, let's get started. So here I am in MIT App Inventor. As you can see, I already started a new project, so I'm just going to open that. And I called it Bluetooth Connect. So how this app is going to work is going to send two numbers to an Arduino using Bluetooth. And for the Arduino, I'm using an HC05 Bluetooth module. And that Arduino is going to take those two numbers, add it back together, and, and send it back to the phone where we can display it on the screen. Now I know this is a simple app, but it's going to hit all the key points. And after that, you will also know how to make an app with a Bluetooth connection. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in the layout is scroll down, go into layout, do horizontal arrangement, and we're going to do all the Bluetooth stuff in this little box here. So we're going to do a list picker, and we're going to call this Bluetooth. And I'm just going to also change the text to Bluetooth, which is down here. Like that. And then right beside the Bluetooth, I'm going to put a label right beside it. And this will be the status of our Bluetooth connection. And when we first start the app, the Bluetooth should not be connected. So I'm just going to put a default text here saying not connected. Like that. And then speaking of Bluetooth, we want to scroll down here, go into connectivity, and where it says Bluetooth client, we're just going to pull that over and we're going to put it as a non-visible component. And then since we're also adding non-visible uh, components, I'm also going to go into sensors, go into clock, pull that over. I'm just going to change this clock speed to from 1000 to just 100 milliseconds per clock tick as you might want to think of it. Then after underneath all this Bluetooth stuff, we're going to do the two out numbers. So we're going to do another horizontal arrangement. Then we're also going to put in three labels. One, two, three. Now the first label is going to be in, sorry, not in, out one. So the first one of the two numbers that's going out. So out two should be Label number three. Label number two, I'm just not going to call it anything because it's not going to change. But in the text for all these labels, I'm going to put out one for one, out two for two. And for label number two, I'm just going to do a plus sign because we're going to add these two numbers on the Arduino, then send it back. So it's a little easier to use. Then after that, then after that, right above the the outs, I'm just gonna label this. I'm not label this. Just change the text to just out. Then we're gonna have an in. So I'm just going to do two labels here. The first one I'm gonna call change the text to in. Then for label five, I'm gonna change the name to in one. The one is not really necessary uh, necessary, but I like to have it just in case and change the, the text to in one and that should be all the stuff we need for the layout so we have our two non-visible components down here the bluetooth client and the clock now just make sure you're using the bluetooth client not the bluetooth server there are two different things but the bluetooth client is what we want here and after that we can go into blocks and then start with the blocks so the first thing we're going to have to do is set up our, all our variable names. So we have three variables. Two of them are out. One of them is in. And I'm just going to call them out1, out2, and in1. Now all of these variables, it doesn't matter what they uh, instantiate to, but I'm just going to put them all to zero for now. And that's all the variables we need. So next we're going to set up our Bluetooth connection. Now how this is going to work is that when we run our app and when you click on this list, you're going to see all your Bluetooth paired devices and then you're going to select one and that will automatically pair with the 
with the app. So what we want to do is when the first screen is is initialized, we need to set the elements in the list picker to be all of our Bluetooth capable devices. So what we want to do is go down, go into Bluetooth, which is our list picker, and go down to set uh, Bluetooth elements to. After that, we're going to scroll down to Bluetooth client. And then we're going to set it to Bluetooth client one names and address. So this will be all the names of the Bluetooth connected devices to our device at that given moment. And it just gets the names and addresses of all those devices. So after we get all our elements in our list correct, we're going to go back into the list and we're going to do one Bluetooth after picking. So after we picked an element from the list, we're going to connect to the Bluetooth device. And what we want to do is an if uh, call Bluetooth.connect. And this returns a true if it's connected correctly and a false if it doesn't connect. Then where it says address, we're going to do what we've been picked, what we picked. So we're going to go in Bluetooth. Let me scroll down to Bluetooth DOS selection, which is, what is it? Uh, right there. And this will connect to a Bluetooth device. Then after that, we're going to change the status label to connect. So that's actually all we need to set up the Bluetooth connection. Then after that, we can start setting up the clock. So we're going to go into, scroll down here, go into clock. Then do one clock one timer do. And now in this do, we're going to send the bytes. And what the bytes we're going to send are going to be a list of bytes. So send bytes list. Now in this list, we're going to scroll up, go into lists. I'm going to make a list. And the two and the two things in the list is going to be the out one and out two. So we can go into variables and get the two numbers and send the set the byte value and send the byte value for both of them. So out one and out two. Then after we send both the bytes, we are able now to receive bytes. So we want to set in byte one to read one byte coming in, and we're going to read one unassigned byte. In. And then we're going to check if the byte we got in is a number. So we're going to do if, and then we're going to go to math is number. And then after that, we're going to check if the, uh, the, uh, the number we got in from Bluetooth is a number. Now this is just make sure because sometimes we can get a null, meaning there is no value coming in. And this just prevents um, errors in our code. So in the then, we're going to set all our text to be the correct thing. So we're going to scroll down here, go out one text, and we're going to set out one text to be the variable out one. And the same thing for out two. So I'm just going to copy paste that. Set out one to out two, and instead of out one, global out one, we're going to do global out two. And then we can do this one more time. And instead of the outs, we're going to do the in one, and we're going to do global in one. Then after that, we're going to want to change the numbers of our outs. Now I'm just going to add one to out one and two to out two every time the every time the clock ticks. So that just makes it easier to understand what's happening next. So then what we're going to do is do set out one. And then we're going to do a math. So we're going to add one to out one. And we're going to copy paste that. And we're going to do uh, add two to out two. Now this is all we need to get our code to run, but just to be safe, I'm actually going to add one more little uh, thing in here. 
I'm going to add one more block in here and this is going to come from screen one and I want to check if an error has occurred. Now if an error has occurred, it's probably going to be with the Bluetooth. So if it occurred, I want to set Bluetooth to disconnect from the device and also going to change the label of status to be not connected. Now let's quickly go into the Arduino code and finish this project off. So I'm actually doing this a little later. I actually forgot to add one thing here. So in this one clock, one timer, I'm also going to put an F and put all of this into the then statement. Then if, then I'm going to go down to Bluetooth client and I am going to check if it's connected or not. So it is, if, yeah, right here. So if Bluetooth client one is connected, then do all of this. So I just forgot about, so I just forgot about that little piece of code. Sorry, it should work now, which is great. And on with the video. So here we are in the Arduino IDE. The code's very simple and very basic. It's actually less than probably like 20 lines of code, so we can go through this pretty quickly. So the first thing we're gonna do is set an array, and this array is gonna be in uh, bytes. So we're just gonna make array, I'm just gonna call it in bytes. And the array is going to be have a length of two. So that's all we need for variables essentially. Then we're going to serial dot begin 9600. And I forgot the dot. There we go. And forgot the G. And that's funny. Okay, there we go. Then we have about like five more lines of code. So we're going to do an if serial dot available is greater than zero meaning it's getting data in let's just fix that spelling mistake then we'll go serial dot read byte dot read bytes and then we're going to put in the array name and how many bytes we're reading. Now, in my particular case, we're sending two bytes over, so we're gonna read only two bytes. So, like that. Then after that, we only have one more line. It's actually, it's serial dot write, lowercase w, dot write. Um, then we're just gonna add the two numbers together, the two numbers in the array, so we're gonna do in bytes zero, so index zero, plus, in bytes one so we adding the two numbers together and we're writing it back uh back through the and we're writing it back through bluetooth back to the phone and then we display it on the phone so after this i'll show you how to set up the arduino so, okay so here i have the arduino i set up all the positive and negative for the bluetooth module and the arduino board now you'll notice on the bluetooth module there's an rx and a tx pin now the RX needed 3.3 volts in. So what this means is that the TX on the uh, on the Bluetooth board can be plugged in straight to the RX on the Arduino board. Let's just do that now, just like that. Now the RX on the Bluetooth module is a little bit more complicated. Now since this needs 3.3 volts or lower, I am gonna have to make a voltage divider. Now how you wanna do that is take two resistors. Now you wanna put one resistor in the negative run of the breadboard. Just put it anywhere on the on the breadboard, the metal spaces of the breadboard. So right now it's in 29. Then you wanna take your other resistor and connect it to the end of the other resistor, the first resistor, and plug it into someplace else on the breadboard just like that so as you can see it starts here and goes through the two resistors like the two resistors right there now to get 3.3 volts I'm actually going to be using 2.5 volts so it cuts in half because the Arduino supplies 5 volts so I'm going to take in between the two resistors take the line out and plug it into the RX of the Bluetooth module just like that. And then the end of the resistor can be plugged into TX. 
just like that. Now, this is a little messy, I know. If you were gonna make it, I suggest making it a lot neater than this. Probably cutting the, taking out the jumper wires and having normal wires just running across. So, that's it. Let's upload the code. Now, make sure that these two wires have to be unplugged when you upload the code from your computer if you're using a USB. Otherwise, it will not work. Just make sure of that. And after that, let's test a little code. So here I have the app open that we built. Now if I press the Bluetooth button, you will see that it will show all the Bluetooth devices I have connected to my phone. Now in this case I only have one, so I'm just going to press that. And it should automatically connect. And then it starts counting. Now the two numbers are being sent over Bluetooth to the Arduino where it's adding the two numbers up. And, bringing it, and sending it back to the phone to display. As you can see, this all works. And that's how you set up Bluetooth with MIT App Inventor. That's the end of this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Consider subscribing. All the files in this video will be linked below onto my Google site. I'll see you next time. Bye.